Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who just turned nine years old and he has not been able to come see me for over nine months now. He has extremely thick nail and in addition to the thick nail, there's this very meaty calluses underneath the nail that is very difficult to remove. Let's see how I can help him. You've been ignoring me for nine months. <laughs> I've been yeah. avoiding all of the doctors. Yeah? You're, you're, you're avoiding everybody, including me, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell these nails are really long right now. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're turning 9 0 this year? Already 9 yeah. was 90 oh, in March. Oh, you already turned 90? Yeah. Wow. How do you feel? 90. <laughs> <laughs> you feel 90, huh? Everybody says. How do you feel? I says, for 90, good. For 60, terrible. <laughs> I know, huh? You got this big calluses. Look at these things, huh? <laughs> yeah. You've been coming to see me for how long now? Oh. A long time, huh? Oh, yeah. When you was up on the hill there with one elevator and on the second floor. Yeah, yeah. That's my wife. Me both came in. I had spurs or whatever you call it. You had put made things from my feet to sit in my shoes oh, they mean and the, fixed it. You mean the support? Right. Orthotics. That's that's when you're a youngster, right? <laughs> Not really. I was 40 some odd then. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was the first thing I went to. And I was I was a young young boy too, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah 40 that was years a, younger. I was a young punk, huh? That makes huh? you 20, huh? <laughs> yep, you got it. Oh, you okay there? There's a big piece sitting here. Look at that one. Wow. Check that one out. <laughs> now, how did that grow by itself? I know, huh? <laughs> Look at this nail. So, so how, how's your team going to do this year? You guys going to do pretty well this year? Yeah, we in the top ten, so we're doing good. Oh, well, right now? Yeah. Are you in the middle of the season? Yep, the half sit way was. We got ten more races left. We did ten. Oh, just ten more. That's it. Yeah. That was up in Seattle, Washington, and Sonoma in the last two weekends. Really? Get two weeks off, and then I go to. Um, Brainerd, Minnesota, Indiana, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Wow. St. Louis. How's the crowd these days? They're getting better. They were about 50% the first year, but the last race we had probably 80%. Oh, really? So it's yeah. getting full. Yeah. That's good news. And you got a good sponsor this year, huh? Yeah, it's hard to find. But you say you got a good driver this year. He's good. He's got good feeling. Tell when the car is doing something wrong and he shuts it off and saves parts. And, and he he listens to you. Is yeah, he is he a, coachable? He's a young guy. He owns a. Big roofing company in Texas. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. But that's his dream to be a driver? Yeah. Was he a driving before? Yeah, he had his own dragster last year, top field dragster. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. That cost him two million, so he said he's just going to drive my car for four years for two million. <laughs> oh. But he's got a good feel for it. Yep. He may win some races. Win some rounds, yeah, just coming around. I don't know where the nail starts and the callus ends. Yeah, I know. My favorite buddy, old John Forth, he's the best there is. He crashed in Virginia two weeks ago. Oh, really? Did he get hurt? Yeah. Oh, he did? Screwed his brain up. He hit so hard, but... Knocked his teeth out with his face mask on. Oh, is that right? Oh, no. 
didn't know who anybody was. He didn't even know who he was for about a week. Is that right? He still don't know. Well, did he get into coma, you mean? No, he was conscious. He just couldn't talk and he'd blabber. And when they take him off his sleep pills, and he'd start tearing the IVs off and they had to strap him down. Oh, really? You were in the hospital with him? Yeah. He's gonna make it? Is he okay? Yeah, I doubt if he drives anymore. He was 70. He's 13 times world champion. Rosa, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's a legend like you. Yeah. But it, that's it, huh? His that's... favorite story was, uh, that was in the fire department in the city of commerce up by East LA. And he was down in Oakyville, Bell. He'd ride his bicycle up to the drag or some fire station because I had my car up there working on it. So that's how. I'm... But he was already 70. Yeah, I was 50 then. Oh. So you'll be done now, huh? After, yeah. after that big accident right then. Yeah, I drove till I was, till 1994, I quit driving. How old were you then? Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word, meaty callus in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, well, I'm about 62, 63. Oh, that right, oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna grind these down. We got most of it out. A lot gonna, better. Yeah, I'm gonna grind it down really good, and then if I need to cut some more, I will, okay? Because um, I don't want to hurt you there. <laughs> Let's grind these down I first. I thought it would hurt a lot more than it Oh, yeah. So your heart's not doing too well these days, or? Hmm? Your heart. You oh, said you have, you have your heart, your eye. Oh, you heart. said you have an like, eight yeah, fifth. Huh? Yeah, everything's good. Not terrible? Still flying. That's the hardest part. Sitting on that airplane. That's my home every week. So we'll fly home Sunday night, back on the red eye Wednesday Oh, wow. So you rest a couple days and then yeah. ready to go again, huh? It takes me two days before I can walk after being on my feet. Oh, I okay. see. Your wife's just still looking pretty good. She's doing well, no? For 88, she looks good, huh? Yeah, she does, huh? <laughs> oh, she's just a couple years younger than you, huh? Yeah. Wow. Was, she was too old. Quit looking real good. She's 88. She's got young guys. She looks great. She's still hanging out with all the drivers? Yeah, she still works on the race car. There's no chance about my granddaughter, my son, every man, she ever got in the world. Yeah, she's doing the hard part now. Yeah, she's still working on the race car. Exactly, that's, uh, that's the stressful part, huh? Yeah. You just go enjoy yourself out there, huh? Still enjoy it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, she's been doing, doing that for so many years, huh? Yeah. I've been drag racing 75 years. 75 years, that wow. That was my first race. I won my first race 75 years ago. Wow. And then she's been doing this all along with you? Yep. Every race, you know. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Which was the best race this year so far? Uh, we were 320 miles an hour and 3.96 seconds. Which, what was that? 
North Chicago. Is there a big crowd? Do they show it on a like sports channel or what? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, it's on Fox. Yeah. Oh. The people are slowly coming back, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you're going to go at least 10 more years. Yeah, well, I can't walk anymore. Know, like, can't drive everything up on the way down. But everybody's doing the things you like to do, as it was yesterday. So I can't do them anymore. I can't walk. I like to do a lot of depression in my life. But I've had a good life. 30 years in the fire department. Mm -hmm. 75 years racing. Wow. Been inducted about four different Hall of Fames. Uh huh. You've done your share. Yeah. All right. Because they call me a legend, and I always tell them that's because I'm so old. <laughs> can't be a legend young. That's true. But not, not everybody old. Not every old people become legends. Right. right. There are a lot of older people, but. They're not legends, but you're right. There's no young legends, that's for sure. Yeah, Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, Lions Club, you mean? Yeah, he's got a new over in Uh huh. Really nice place. Were you in the Lions Club? Mm -hmm. Were you in the Lions Club before? Yeah. Oh, you were? So where are you going this weekend? Nowhere, thank God. Oh, you're so off this week. Next, next race is... Uh, Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin? Yeah, right. That's by the old way. Then down to Indiana. Then to Pennsylvania. Then to North Carolina. It's hot these days, huh? Yeah, it's been 102 in a couple. Wow. It's way too hot for a day. Yeah, but they're all out there in, in that hot degree, hot temperature, huh? Yeah. That's amazing. It's hard as sand must be. Oh, okay. That's nice weather. Hundred? Oh, too much. Yeah. So what's uh, bad? The track is so hot. Can't get track. Tires. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah, like when we tune the, with the tires, every five degrees of track temperature, we give it one more tenth of airspeed. Oh, really? So, so you have to replace the tires? Yeah, tracks, tracks uh, 80 degrees, we'll give it 6.8. If it's 120, we'll give it 7.4, 7.5. Oh, really? Wow. It's got too much pressure in it. They get too good and they shake us shake our cars apart. Yeah. If you don't have enough, then they don't have enough traction and then you smoke the tires. Oh, I see. All right, looking better, huh? Much better. Okay, very good. Thank Thanks you. for allowing us to film me today, Jim. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, if you don't cut your nail for a long time, sometimes meaty cows can form underneath the nail and it's very difficult to remove. So. Uh, please visit your foot doctor more often to avoid these kind of conditions. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others.